So I'm um, starting with the uh, final results first. Um, that way for people, they don't have to fast forward the video and all that stuff. So if you just want to see the results and a little bit of the cleaning, well, the results are here. So you don't have to sit through the, the entire video. It's not very long, but um, I don't think most people sit through the, the entire video. So might as well show you what we do in the beginning. And uh, we raked and then we did a, a post vacuum and that's at the end. And the rest of the cleaning will, uh, will be coming up shortly. Uh, so we did a pre-vacuum and then we did a post vacuum at the end of the cleaning. Uh, we do um, use a neutral range product. Uh, we've done this carpet a number of times. Uh, it's always in good condition. We, we stay on top of it and we use the uh, Odeban 3-in-1 with um, the Koblenz rotary and uh, the uh, green stripe pad to clean. And uh, everything came out as great as usual. Uh, there wasn't really any noticeable issues as far as uh, staining and spotting. So it was a very standard type cleaning. Uh, carpets dried in about an hour. And um, the Odeban 3-in-1, it has a... Uh, does contain a polymer polymer in it, but it's not considered an end cap. And it has, uh, it's famous for having the anti, uh, resoiling deposition agent, um, redeposition agent. Um, so, uh, that's just good at re repelling the soils and protecting the carpet from uh, future soiling. So, prevents wicking and also has a drying agent. A lot of cleaners don't have a drying agent and this one does. This is great for bonnet cleaning and uh, you could use this in your in your extractor as well and it's a wool safe product. And uh, at Home Depot it's around eleven dollars. So it's a it's a it's a good product. Uh, so if you're getting started and you have an auric or you run a one seventy five from the from the uh, Home Depot or a rug doctor or whatever, this product is great for that. And uh, when you get your feet wet, this is perfect. If you wanted to get a different product, when you know this is going to be your thing and this is going to be your your livelihood, then if you want, you go and buy five gallon buckets of other stuff. Um, you could buy this in bulk too. I, I bought this in bulk uh, from Amazon, but you, but uh, again, you don't have to buy a, a lot of stuff if you're not sure you're going to make it in this business. If you give it time, you'll make it. Um, Time is key. Uh, persistence is key. But a lot of people, they want results right away. They get in these Facebook groups and everybody is making all this money. And you see these YouTube cha channels, everybody's making all this money. And, and the reality is um, those are few and far between. For the most part, you're going to be struggling in the beginning for a while. Uh, you do hear success stories and all that. But again, be careful with those stories because... Probably about 1% of them are true. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, and it takes persistence, and it takes struggle. So just keep that in mind. Um, in this cleaning, we're using the low-speed buffer. This is a 175, 17-inch machine. Uh, really good machine. Um, this is uh, considered an inexpensive machine. When I bought this, got it for $640. So I know rotaries now. Man, they really jacked up the prices. Uh, I think this one runs around eight or nine hundred now. Um, I bought this one, I think, in two thousand twenty or twenty one. Could have been twenty one, but uh, could have been twenty. I, I'm not sure. But anyways, these are quite a bit more expensive now. Um, and uh, if you get one of these upgraded models, these uh. I've seen rotaries now run up to $5,000. So keep that in mind. You don't need a $5,000 rotary to get started. Uh, rotaries, you can essentially get used. Um, they last a long time. They're good, you know, pawn shop machines. You can get them from a pawn shop if you really want a rotary. Just make sure you practice and, and get familiar with the rotary. Don't use your 
your customer's home is uh, training. You want to make sure you're trained on that before you get to the customer's home. So, yeah, those are good. Um, the Auric is a really the best machine to get started with. Um, it's a you can build your business with the Auric. You can keep your business profitable with the Auric. Um, and in most instances, uh, it's really the most ideal residential machine because you just get in tight spaces you could do the stairs you can go upstairs with it you can it's a quick machine so you can get a lot done with the auric rather than bring two machines you know uh, there's guys that bring two machines to every job you know, uh, i recommend just try to bring one uh but but that's that's up to you but this machine is uh is a good machine uh it can be a little bit big for some jobs you know so uh a smaller version would be good also but but these rotaries are very um they're very they're very um versatile so you can put all sorts of attachments on it brushes pads whatever they're they're really good you can put a tank on this one um uh but the, these these are great machines um now I'm more of an orbital person. I think the orbital cleans better. Um, you know, it's uh, it's oscillating instead of rotating. It's rotating, but it's also oscillating. A, a rotary is just a spinning machine. Just just rotates 360 degrees. So you could get great cleanings with it, but to be honest with you, it takes me a little longer to achieve a good cleaning. Um, but but uh, I could still get great results if I use the uh, multi brush system. It it uh, it's rivals uh, rotary because it, it gets deep down into the fibers and it takes less time. But this one is a uh, rotary is great if you're just willing to take your time a little bit more. Um, this this uh, this carpet is really good for orbital or uh, or a rotary. Some carpets I prefer more of a gliding. Uh, action that would be good you know rotaries are good for that for like uh, commercial carpets some type for rugs you know an orbital if you got a big orbital like one of those vibes or something you're gonna end up moving the rugs all over the place or one of those uh, other big orbital machines you're, they're just they're gonna you can't use them on on rugs essentially you can use the auric on rugs Always use a glider, and uh, you'll have uh, smooth sailing. Or you could use a rotary. Even a big rotary like this won't toss the uh, rug everywhere, you know. But this is a good machine. It does a good job, and especially if you're not doing like really dirty carpet. This is this uh, the rotary suffices. Um, even on dirty carpet, you get your your chemistry down right. Take your time, and the rotary works very well. Um, I don't believe in sacrificing quality, so if I think that uh, that I'm going to have to work a little bit harder, stay a little bit longer to um, get a good job, then that's what I'll do. Um, but this machine is, uh, yeah, at one point it was uh, it was low as six hundred dollars on Amazon. And I've seen this as high as a thousand, so prices vary. Um, but um, I would definitely uh, get a used one if you couldn't. I wouldn't pay anything over a thousand. And some rotaries aren't even true one seventy fives. I've heard of rotaries going down uh, uh, as low as one forty five. And uh, there's another company that makes a 165, but everybody calls it a 175, but it's not a 175. This is a true 175. Um, I've never used a 165, but I see people that, that use them on video. If they're not experienced, they're struggling like crazy with them. So I think uh, think uh, you would have a little less torque with the, with the 175 and be a little bit easier to handle. I haven't seen anybody other than some of the experienced uh, cleaners uh, use uh, a rotary with ease uh, that's a, like a 165. Um, I don't know, something about it, it just 
I don't even know if they're uh, one and a half horsepower. I, I guess I doubt it. I guess I, I don't know their horsepower. Uh, but but I saw some of the newer guys and they are flat out struggling with the rotaries. You you really want to practice it at home before you get out uh, on onto somebody's carpet because you're going to have a potential accident uh, on at somebody's home. So just be careful. You see guys that are experienced make carpet cleaning look easy, and it's really easy. But you definitely want to train and practice and study up on what you're doing before you get to somebody's house. Um, apartment, maybe it's okay, you know, or empty home where you you know you can kind of be careful and get used to it. But but don't go to an occupied home and um, try to learn on the job. You, you want to have all that, watch a lot of videos, study, read up on things, practice. You you want to watch hundreds of hours of uh, videos before you even attempt to, to, to do something um, that you're not familiar with at somebody's home, in my opinion. And nowadays, with the technology the way it is, there's no excuse not getting uh, your education in and, and learning. But you can see here it again where uh, the 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 post vacuum of the job. You don't have to post vacuum. Um, everything you do, you don't have to do. You, you do um, you do what you feel is right uh, and what what you think the customer is going to like and um, what'll give you repeat business. Um, but uh, in my pricing, the post vacuuming is included. So. But anyways, thank you for watching and take care.